We're trying to get DV switch working with the help of M6 LSJ. DV switch working on the PC, or it could be an Android phone, using a Raspberry Pi 3B as a server. 6LSJ has been helping me to get this up and running, so these are all the links he's sent me. So get, go to this PDF download, you see the link at the top, I'll put it in the description, and then go to this section, and you've got the image for the Raspberry Pi 3B server. Once you select it, this will be the, um, the file you get, the zip file. Yeah, we look like this. Uh, the one that really matters at first is the image at the top. And then you'll be using putty at the bottom, the putty uh, file. Once you've downloaded Belina Etcher, which will be on Google, and then you use it to flash onto an SD card. So flash, you uh, select the target, which will be, it'll say F. Um, so once you've got Etcher working, then you select the target, select, um, let's see we can actually select the file first, so let's remove this, flash from file, there, and then go to the, I put it into a folder called DV switch, so look, you double select the image at the top, and then you flash it to your hard drive that's the image on your um, SD card need to put the WPA file in there for the Ethernet username and password as well you do that in the same way as you would uh, with PyStar Wi-Fi Builder the PyStar page you've got PyStar tools Wi-Fi Builder put your username and password of your home router here and click submit and it'll create a file called WPA down here and that'll be your username and password drop that dro drop that into your uh, SD card as well and now I've just got a Raspberry Pi 3B and I just plugged it into my Ethernet port for now Get to your file that you extracted and double click putty and you'll come up with this window here then go to your IP scanner, advanced IP scanner, which you can download off the net, and scan your network to find, you find one that says DV switch server. And then get that number, that IP address, and put it into, into your uh, putty page configuration. When you hit enter, you're basically talking to the Raspberry Pi, you'll come to this screen. The username is DV switch. So hit enter and then it will ask for the password. If it's the first time you've ever done it, it will ask you to create a password. Right, then you'll get to this page here. These are the these are the default passwords, DV switch, username and passwords. Once you've logged in and created your password, then one at a time you need to enter these things, sudo apt update, one at a time, and then hit enter and keep going down. Type the first one, we're gonna hit enter. Hang on a minute, that's not right. So what it'll do, it'll get to this and eventually it will say, it'll get to this point, and then type in the next one, which is sudo apt upgrade, enter. Same again, and then it will be, when you get to that, sudo space reboot, Enter. Oh, wow. <laughs> Once you've done those things, you'll get to a menu that looks like this, and just follow it through. 
by clicking OK. So you're basically entering, you know, your call sign, your DMR ID. Just follow, just follow the instructions through. Download the app on your phone and then go to the accounts tab and put in the ports and things that you chose when you were going through that section. Select as you can see here, then you get to select which mode you want. Now you need it to say that you're registered. If you've done it correctly, when you hit status, it will say registered. If it's not registered, then uh, you've missed the setting. M0FXB.